Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a character selection system. So what we want to do is have our players enter the main menu, select a few characters, and when they select that character, it saves the data, and when they move on to the next scene, they're playing as that character. So first thing you're going to need to do is create a new scene, make it your main menu. If you don't know how to create a menu yet, go check out my video, how to create a main menu. And then inside our main menu, we have two buttons, a canvas with two buttons, our start button, which will bring us to the next scene, obviously, and then our button selector, which will open up our character selection panel. And when we press this button, we open up this panel here, and then we have characters to choose from. So when the player selects one of these characters, in the next scene, they will be playing as that character, and it will also save the data and give it a check mark to let the player know which character they selected. So this asset will be for sale on the Unity store, but if you want to actually learn how to create this for free, stay tuned for my video. So here we're going to open up our selector panel. Inside my selector panel, I have a list of characters here, my character 1, 2, and 3, inside each of these character objects, prefabs, I have a button, select button, and a check mark to check if the character is selected. And when we press these select buttons, it's going to select our character from our script here. So we're only using this one script here, it's the most important script, I will provide it in the comments down below so give me a like and subscribe so make sure you have an empty game object and drag in this script I will go over the script you guys right now here we have our public bools to check if the characters are selected if the game has started which would be if the new scene has loaded we will check that as well and we will also check if we are in the main menu scene here we have our list of check marks and then here we have our game object characters which would be our player objects in the next scene so when the scene has loaded on start we will check if there is a save if we selected any characters if not it will remain as default character character 0 if the game has started the next scene has loaded we will check if the characters is selected and display them as such and then here I have these marks I left here copy and paste so if you want to add your own characters you would have to copy and paste everything within these marks I left for you guys here we're just calling some public public functions here when we move to the next scene or back a scene on scene awake every time the scene is loaded or initialized we check if there are any saves if the bool has been saved so pretty much we are just checking and saving bools. If the character selects that character, it will check a bool and it will save it in player prefabs. So here we have our public functions. Inside our buttons, we select one of these functions here. So if we selected that button, it will select the character. And then here we save our bools so every time we exit the panel or move on to the next scene we should save the bools every update which is every frame in the scene it will check if the selector is active if we are in the main menu and if so it will select the characters and display the check marks and that's it for the script so I'll provide it in the comments down below so once you drag that script inside a game object we have some data we need to input so since this is our main menu we check is selector check and this will check the check marks and the character that's selected and inside our checklist we drag in all our check marks that's displayed in the menu and that's it for main menu 
In our next scene, which would be the loaded level scene, we have our button here, which would bring us back to the main menu. And we have our characters that are all hiding right now. This is character one, character two, and then a character three. So make sure those are all deactivated. And we have our most important script, the same script inside an empty game object as well. And inside the script, you wanna make sure you check game start because this isn't the main menu. You could leave all the other stuff empty, but make sure you drag in your characters prefabs or your player prefabs that you want selected and it will display it as such and it will also retrieve the save data and that's it for the next scene so here we will start the menu and see what happens inside our selector we have selected character 2 I want to be character 3 and then I'm going to move on to the next scene and I am the yellow character. And then I go back to main menu, go to character 1, start, we are now the blue character. And if I exit and come back, we should still be the blue character because it saved our data. The characters just aren't moving because I didn't add any animations to them. But this would represent your player prefabs. And remember, if you want to clear the save data, go to edit, clear all player prefabs. And now I should still be the blue character because that is our default character. And that's it. That's how you create a character selection menu. If this tutorial helped you guys out, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for watching.